Hello, this is Ms. Wright. Um, today I'm doing an instructional video on the website Pixton. Pixton enables your students to create their very own comic strips or posters. Um, it's great for the classroom and a wonderful way to integrate technology into the classroom. Um, I'm going to get you started on how to create your own comic strip for today, although there are a lot of different uh, tools and different things you can do with Pixton. Uh, so once you've logged in, um, it takes me like 45 seconds to log in. You just have to um, insert your email and create a password, and then they send you a confirmation email, and you're good to go. Um, you do have the option to set up, uh, uh, add your students to your Pixin. You can assign an activity. Um, you can create your own avatar. You can do lots of different things, but I'm just going to get right to it. So the beauty about Pixin is that you can you use it to uh, cater to any different subject. Um, for today though, I've already started one. So I'm going to show you what I've started and how you can continue and add it. If you wanted to, you could just click on uh, create from scratch, which is what I did and it brought me to this page here. So uh, currently I work for a Catholic school board and the virtue of our month is courage. So I'm going to be having my students create their very own comic strip um, about courage. So I started one as an example. So I was able to create, choose different avatars. Um, you can have uh, up to three characters per scene. Um, and I was, I've already added the text, which is very easy to do. So I'm going to finish up my story. Basically, it's about a girl who um, is very nervous to perform in front of 300 people. She doesn't feel very courageous. Um, she's got a friend who is trying to encourage her and she, he's letting her um, think about her decision before she uh, chooses not to perform. And she sits down and decides to muster up the strength. Here she's finally performing and now I'm gonna close off the scene um, with her friend congratulating her. So it's going to repeat whatever you've done last, but you can change everything. So for example, I'm gonna change my background. Um, they are at a, at a theater or a concert hall. So I'm gonna type in concert and see what pops up. Now I'm going to choose or maybe I'll choose theater actually. All right, so I'm gonna choose this one here and I'm going to move my character. I know she looks a bit weird now, but you can alter her uh, pose. So I'm gonna have her just standing and I'm also going to insert a character. So I'm going to, let's see, well not swap characters, I'd like to add a new character. So I'm going to add my friend here who I've already created. He's going to come in here. I'm going to move them again. Now, I'm going to change her face because I'd like her to be looking at him. So I'm going to flip. I'm going to have her stand again. I'm going to have him stand. And have him face her. Oops. There we go. You can also uh, play with the background and stuff. So I'm going to put that down. Uh, maybe, <laughs> there we go, put that here. And the good thing too is that you can have your kids um, alter their facial expressions per scene. So I'm gonna go to facial expressions and I'd like her to be very happy or excited anyway. Or well, maybe this was a nice one. Oh, there we go. She's really happy, he's happy for her. So I'm gonna close off the scene with maybe uh, her saying, I can't believe I did that. It was worth it. And he's going to respond back with, see, I knew you had the courage in you all along. Okay, so once you're done, your scene, you can save it, you can, um, if you, I haven't set up a classroom yet, but you can uh, hand it in to your teacher through Pixton. It's just a wonderful way to, um, to have your kids be very creative. I mean, the, the ideas that they could have are endless and you can do so many different things with it. I think it's a fantastic site. Um, and this whole thing took me Oh my goodness, it took me less than 10 minutes to do. And it was actually a lot of fun. You could do so much with them and their positions. If I wanted to change anything, I could. For example, if I want her standing, I could go back. I can have her stand or I can have the background change. I can change her skin color. I can do lots of different things with it. So it's a great website. Um, I'm going to save it just to show you what happens next. I called it Courage. 
I'm just going to save and continue. And now I can publish it to my page. So then now, if I was a student and my teacher came, they would see my name and they would see what I've created. And, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed and definitely recommend using Pixin.